As you might have noticed, many Zambians have mentioned the Chinese. Although you do not see any Chinese on the streets of Lusaka, they still are a silent but major factor in this story. Most of the wholesale companies have Chinese owners and more and more fake brands made in China are entering the Zambian market. Some even fear that Zambia will become the first colony of China. As well as these two politicians. So he's Mr. Charles Kafumbo, he's my vice president. I'm Edwin Sakala, I'm the president of political organization. Our country, Zambia, is right now invaded by the Chinese. You find that those in government, they have allowed the Chinese to buy huge chunks of land, at times even displacing the villagers there. Our land is so precious. We fought for independence for our land. If we shall get independence, then allow a few people to sell our land, then why did we fight for independence? When they buy a piece of land, they will fence it off. They will fence it first. And they won't allow anybody, anybody to, go to go in. So you, won't, you will not have a clear picture of how many people well, What is happening there? The Chinese are building almost everywhere. Within the last three years, they have mushroomed. Wherever you go, you find they have taken over Zambian land. We don't know why they are here. Well, uh, maybe the issue is that they need land. That is and the, they want to offload their population. Yes. I, I think the influence that is coming from China is whatever soft loans that they are giving to the African government. They also use corrupt methods. When they go in an African country, they corrupt the leaders, maybe uh, offer to build them houses, uh, give them a lot of dollar. They have offered to make a road. Uh, it's about 90 kilometers, free of charge. It's an offer. But me, I know, that is one area which is very, very rich in gold. So to an ordinary person, they, are, they have offered, and they're very good people. They're making a road for us. When, as a matter of fact, they're busy mining gold, which is going back to China. That's stealing. And they work hand in hand with the leaders. These resources which you have are not only for us, they are meant for mankind. But here are Chinese openly stealing our natural wealth. They, their thinking is so limited. Even a, a cow, you know, you can't go on milking it, milking it without feeding it. And this is serious? Because we know they are getting our resources here. They go to manufacture. Meanwhile, instead of giving us the real products that they've manufactured in China, they bring us fake. Look, a lot of farmers are growing cotton, and that cotton doesn't see its way in Zambian textile industry. It only sees its way into the Americas, into Europe, leaving Zambia naked. We need our cotton to help us create the textile industry. We have built the Western world to come, help us. Because well, it's, nice. it's in their own interest that uh, we expect them to be more useful partners. And like now, when they're just watching Africa being invaded. Yes, we need you, us. we need you guys. We need also Trump to come here. He should not be complaining to say China has taken over all the, it's taken over Africa. He should come and invest here, bring the technologies here. We invite you so that China and the West can compete. So before uh, Zambia becomes a part of China, we have taken up the challenge to fight back. If it means being killed in the process, we are ready to die. But what is important is we don't want the Chinese to invade our country. Ever since the Chinese invested in the first 
big railway in Zambia, the Tazara Railway, they have obtained rights which made it easier for them to start businesses and set up trade relationships in Zambia. Chinese businesses have slowly expanded their presence in the top of almost every sector of the Zambian economy. The textile business is almost fully controlled by Chinese business owners. Keeping Zambian influence small by not bringing knowledge, machines and technologies to Zambia, but just cheap products. In Lusaka I saw a mural saying, who feeds you controls you. And this very well represents the Chinese-Zambian relationship.